What's up, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate the all new Suomi TX Pro Carbon. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and tell you all about this brand new Suomi helmet, do us both a favor, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you don't miss out on any of the latest part or gear coming your way. We always get first look at the latest gear. Subscribe, don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com by shopping with us, we would appreciate that. There's a link to the TX Pro Carbon. that will get you right over to speedaddicts.com, pick up one of these bad boys. While you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Okay, enough with my shameless plugs. Always very stoked when a new Suomi enters the building. Behold, this is the TX Pro. Now, this has a, a close cousin, or essentially a brother, the Track 1. TX Pro and Track 1 are the same helmet except for the shell construction. This TX Pro is carbon fiber and thus a bit lighter by a bit lighter, I mean this helmet is extremely lightweight at the moment. I do believe it is the lightest full face helmet that we sell coming in at only two and three quarters pounds. That's right, 2.75 pounds. Extremely lightweight, folks. Even better, it is ECE 2206, so that's the latest safety homologation, which we'll talk more about in a minute. But just very stoked on this helmet. The price tag, see, it keeps getting better here, 431 to 449 extremely competitive performance helmet, great for aggressive street riding, occasional track day use. Now, Suomi still has their flagship, the SRGP, for folks that want the ultimate in aerodynamics. That helmet is longer, it's more expensive, but I really think this is a tough one to pass up considering the weight and that sub $500 price tag. I think we're gonna have a lot of riders go after this TX Pro this season. Now, let's back up and talk about that safety standard. So EC2206 is the latest in homologations out of Europe. You're gonna see a lot of manufacturers move to that. We are very excited to see the Suomi show up this year with that EC2206. Now this is an improvement over 2205 in that instead of one drop test, you're getting four drop tests and they test for different things. So you get a high velocity, a low velocity, and an angular impact in addition to that standard drop test that 2205 had. The result of this is it's pushing manufacturers to make a safer helmet. We really like to see that, and it's going to, you're gonna see more of that EC2206 label over the next year or two, so be on a lookout for that. I think that's an important thing to shop for when you're looking for a new helmet. Intermediate oval head shape. The fit of this thing is just great. It's right down the middle in terms of the head shape. It's gonna fit most of your US heads. There is some custom ability or customizability when it comes to the cheek pads, different thicknesses. If you need to do that, our experts can help you out with fitment. Extra small through two extra large, no surprises. Go by the Suomi sizing chart. You're gonna see at speedaddicts.com and it should hit you just right. Now we know shopping for gear online can be tricky sometimes. If you don't get it right the first time, Speed Addicts is gonna offer you free returns. That's right, to qualify for no cost returns, all you have to do is live in the lower 48 states. Make sure the gear is brand new in original condition. A couple clicks on our website, you're gonna get that free return label, exchange, return for a refund. Whatever you need to do, give us a shot and we're gonna make sure to treat you like family. Look at that carbon. So one thing I will say, the images on our website are a little bit ambiguous. Some may say they look like matte finish just because the way the effects on images came out. But I am here to tell you at this moment, and you can look in the title, it'll say gloss or matte. All the TX Pros that came out with this initial shipment, all the colorways, including this plain carbon are all gloss finish, just like you see on the table here. Just so you get a quick look at the Chieftain. Very nice, you got the carbon fiber showing through those graphics. Again, that gloss finish for you. And we got a smoke shield on that one. The helmet's gonna come with a clear shield out of the box. Of course, I failed to mention earlier, but they're all DOT homologated here in the United States. Let's get back to the ventilation. So, chin bar vent. It is controlled from the inside. I'll show you the switch for that in a minute. There's no exterior switch, but you will get your standard kind of chin ventilation and it will kick some of that air up onto the visor. Now you're gonna get a pin lock insert. I'll show you that in a second to help with fog, but this air come, airflow coming up through the chin bar is going to assist there. Up in the top of the helmet, you have three other intake ports. You have this crown vent, and then you've got two sliders up on the top. That combined with the channel to EPS means you're gonna flow ton, plenty of air. You won't make those mistakes when you're pushing it hard, you're hot, you're sweaty, you're gonna get lots of airflow in the TX Pro 
The Track 1 that's been out for the past year, very well reviewed helmet. We have a lot of customers already in that Track 1, which again is the same feature set. The shell construction is the only thing that changes from the Track 1 to this TX Pro and the ventilation, very well reviewed. My least favorite part about this helmet though is the switch. This little tab here is just kind of wimpy. I they could do better. I do like these panel vents though. Those are always my favorite. Easy to get your gloves on and switch on and off. In the rear, you have passive ventilation. Cannot be switched underneath the diffuser here to extract that hot, moist air and keep you cool, calm, and collected. Spoiler on the back. It is somewhat pronounced. Watch that. Don't whack that on things. You can break those. We will stock replacements in case you run into that. But it does give it that nice arrow effect. More reliefs. All the styling. I don't know if you can see these different kind of reliefs on the helmet. It's really clean, good looking. It actually happens to resemble the SRGP quite a bit in certain areas of the helmet. Let's talk about the face shield. Extremely positive lock here. I mean, this thing feels like an eight or $900 helmet in the way that the face shield operates. It really slams down shut. You're gonna get a great seal as opposed to some of the older Suomi's. Say maybe the SRGP, or sorry, the SR Sport, if you had one of those. Um, or the Vandal, you know, there've been some face shields on Suomi's that don't just lock quite right. Even a little bit of air leakage can bother your eyes. Sometimes people are sensitive to that. So you're gonna get a very positive seal, easy sh shield changes here. You just pull the release, shield comes on and off. Injection molded, thick face shield with very strong detents. So if you're the type that likes to ride when you're cruising uh, through town, you're going a little bit slower, you might wanna keep that cracked, you will be able to do so. Really pronounced. Strong detents in all of these different positions. One, two, three, four, five, all the way shut. Can you pop it to a D-mist? Yeah, you can. So lots of options with the face shield and you're going to get pin lock insert free at that same price point, sub 450 at the moment. It's a killer deal, they're including that in the package. In case you don't know, pin lock insert installs on these nipples on the inside, creating a dual pane mechanism that reduces or mitigates fog all together. At the moment, the extra shields are a little bit in short supply. We're going to be getting more soon, but if you're after a smoke, dark smoke, light smoke, or other iridium options, more are coming. Hang tight. Uh, we'll be able to take care of you shortly, or maybe by the time you're watching this video, we are flush. Let's flip over the TX Pro and show you on the inside. Red accents, cool, looks racy. Different panels, all that stitching, that's more time involved and just gives it that more premium look and feel. Chin curtain, you're going to get a chin curtain out of the box. If you don't wanna run it, you don't have to. You can remove it just like I did if you don't wanna contend with that on the way in or out of the helmet, but it does help with noise and air blowing up inside of there. When you don't run it, kinda of have this awkward little gap. I don't know, I feel like they could have finished that off a little bit better, but not a deal breaker. Underneath. I told you, I would show you, there is a switch here that controls that ventilation. Let's see, am I working in the right direction? Yep, up and down. Up is up, down is down. There's actually three settings on that to control that airflow coming through the chin bar. Emergency quick release cheek pads, especially helpful, especially for you track guys in case you have an accident, EMS will be able to remove the cheek pads before they pull the helmet off you. Hopefully not disturb your head while you are in need of assistance. We of course have a double D ring closure, removable washable hydro cool liner from Suomi. Very easy to remove. Just a couple snaps. You notice this is part of the neck roll here. So if you tear this up, which most of us do when we set our helmet down on things, you can refurbish without buying a separate neck roll piece. Here's the cheek pad. All right, eyeglass compatibility. They're calling that out right there. Most glasses are going to fit in the Suomi TX Pro and track one. Of course, that depends on the shape of your head and your face your glasses, all that sort of stuff. This is what the cheek pad looks like, available in different sizes if you run into any issues after you get your Suomi. Call and talk to Rider Support here, we'll help you out with that. Sometimes it's as easy as a pad swap. We're pulling out this next cheek pad, here it is, very nice. You notice they have holes cut out in this ear section because they do have speaker pockets. You notice that pull tab, they kind of, it's kind of a cool thing they did. So you can just like pull on that, it's got a little Suomi logo on it. There's the pull tab for the speaker hole. These will fit 40s, no problem. 45s, eh, it's gonna be a little bit tight. You might have to use a puck to space it out. If you got Pack Talk Black, JBL, 45s. Otherwise, 40 mil and below should be no issue here. Let's get to that comfort liner, pull this out. You're gonna get a two year warranty from Suomi on uh, the TX Pro, which is pretty much the industry standard. The thing I like about the comfort liner in this helmet, whoops, if I can contend with this, let's see. 
is that it doesn't have any snaps, not in the rear, not in the front of the helmet. You're not gonna get any hot spots that way. Let's pull this out. Swomi knows what they're doing when it comes to high performance helmets. And at the moment they got Bagnaya, the fastest man in the world when he can keep it up on two wheels. And we've been selling Suomi since they came to the United States in 2003. That's when SpeedX was founded. And so we've always been an, a big fan of Suomi products. This comfort liner is really nice. It is a little on the thick side. Remember, this is gonna break in. Compared to maybe some of their other helmets, the liners are a little bit more minimalist and thus got that racing feel, you know, which is fine for a track day situation. You're out for 20 or 30 minutes. But if you're gonna go out for a few hours and ride canyons, this liner is gonna be friendlier to your head. So again, a little bit more street friendly fit compared to the Suomi SRGP at the moment, which fits really tight. And the liner's just not quite as comfy as the TX Pro. Different panels, different colors, we like that. And like I promised, no snaps here, no hot spots, no trouble in the forehead. They just use this three snap brow vent. Removable, washable, hydro cool. Inside here, you notice massive holes up in the front, ducting, getting that airflow that's coming through that crown vent and those two other um, side brow vents right onto your noggin. It's gonna channel and port that out the escape. You notice there's the extractor holes in the back that go to that rear exhaust. That does it for the TX Pro Carbon. Very, very difficult helmet to beat for the money if a lightweight racing or sport helmet is what you're after and you don't want to spend six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars Here she is, folks. It is the Swimmy TX Pro Carbon. If you've already got one or when you get one, let your fellow riders know how you like it. Don't just take my word for it. Drop a comment in there. If you have a question, rider support, always standing by at speedaddicts.com where you can always talk to a human. That does it for today, folks. We will see you next time to find out what's in the crate.